What's up y'all today? We're gonna to be talking all about growing lettuce in the summertime heat, some things you need to be doing to be successful, and also we're gonna be giving you a few different recommendations on heat tolerant varieties. Let's jump into it. Hey y'all, welcome back to The Homestead. My name is Dirk, and if you've never visited this channel before, it's all about educating and inspiring you so that you, your garden, and your homestead can thrive. If you'd like to join my exclusive Facebook group where you can get your questions answered and also feel like you're part of a community, then you can do that for free by clicking the link down below, inputting some information, and then you will be able to join the group. All right, so let's jump right in. First things first, lettuce is a difficult crop to grow, especially when it starts to get hot outside. So we grow here in Arkansas in zone 7B and it gets blazing hot and humid here. So the first thing that we have to do is start to grow heat tolerant varieties of lettuce. Several that I really love growing are Muir, Red Cherokee, Salanova Green Sweet Crisp is the third one. And then also you can grow Magenta, but there are a handful of heat tolerant varieties that you can grow. And you can go to johnnyseed.com and they actually have a pretty large variety and selection that you can choose from. However, I would say that Muir is by far the most heat tolerant variety, even when it's a 105 degrees, we can grow mirror without it bolting or getting bitter. The other thing you're going to need to employ is shade cloth. We use 50% shade cloth anytime the temperature gets about over 90 degrees. So really once June 1st hits, we have shade cloth over all of our beds. The way we built some really cost effective tunnels is by using nine gauge tension wire. You can get that at Lowe's or Home Depot. And basically you just cut that to where you can then create some hoops so that you can pull shade cloth over the top of each individual bed. Once you pulled it over top, you can just staple that in and you're ready to go. The other thing you need to think about is moisture. You wanna make sure that that root zone stays nice and moist. Lettuce obviously likes water. However, you don't want to overwater it. We use overhead misters and overhead wobblers in different parts of our farm. And these are highly effective to keeping the crop nice and moist and also cooled off when it's blazing hot outside. We have our timer set for three times a day and depending upon how dry it is, we will run those different cycles in the morning, around lunchtime, and then one time in the evening. And depending upon how dry it is, we'll run those anywhere from 20 minutes to up to an hour. The last thing that you can do, and you don't necessarily have to do this, but we have implemented it on our farm, is using landscape fabric with holes in it. Now we bought this landscape fabric with holes in it from Farmer's Friend. They're already pre-burned holes, so it's just much easier than trying to burn the holes yourself. And this is not only going to help with weeds, but it's also gonna help keep that soil surface cooled off when it's 105 and the sun is just beating down on our garden beds. So that's the way we successfully grow lettuce mix in the heat of the summer. If y'all found this video helpful, make sure to hit that subscribe button and we look forward to seeing y'all on the next video. Happy growing.